פרק חמישי, משנה א', הפרקים ה' עד לט', יש לנו עכשיו שלושה פרקים, three chapters, עוסקים בדיני קורבן הפסח, are going to deal with the Pesach sacrifice. משנתנו באה ללמד, our Mishnah comes to teach, מתי זמן שחיטת הפסח? When do we bring the Pesach sacrifice? ויש להקדים, before that we need to understand, שהיו מקריבים כל יום במקדש שני כבשים עולות. We all know that every day in the temple we need to bring two sheep. And these two sheep are called נקראים תמידים. This is קורבן התמיד. The word תמיד, because it was always brought. אחד בבוקר ואחד בין הארבעים. And the Torah tells us when to bring. One in the morning and one בין הארבעים. That's really, we understand בין הארבעים in the afternoon, just before sunset. Okay. כמו שנאמר, and this is a verse in במדבר, כבשים בני שנה תמימים, you have to bring sheep year old which are unblemished, שניים ליום או לתמיד, two every day, for an eternal sacrifice. את הכבש האחד תעשה בבוקר, the one sheep you should do in the morning, ואת הכבש השני תעשה בין הארבעים, and the second sheep you should do when? in the afternoon. התמיד של הבוקר, זמן שחיטתו משאיר פני המזרח. The תמיד of the morning, when do you slaughter it? When the dawn, when dawn happens, when it starts to become light. והוא ראשון לכל קורבנות היום. And this is the... Yeah, שאיר פני המזרח is dawn. Yeah, זה לא נץ. Yeah. והוא ראשון לכל קורבנות היום. And this is first to all the sacrifices of the day. In other words, you don't do... This is the... This, you don't bring... That's it. והתמיד של בין הארבעים, and the one in the afternoon, זמן שחיטתו מן התורה, it says, when should you bring it according to the Torah? משתחילה החמה לנטות למערב. Right after midday. זה לא בין הארבעים. Oh, so it says that, that, what's בין הארבעים? When it starts to become dark. When does it... No, think about it. The word, when's בין הארבעים? When it starts to become dark. When does it start to become dark? When the, the, when, the, when the sun is exactly up, that's midday, yeah. and then a second later, <laughs> oh, it starts to become dark. It's been our time. It starts to become dark. A second later, that's the beginning of when it starts to become dark. So the is divided to a... Let's say 6 to... 6 12, to, let's say 12 is noon. Yeah. 12 over 5, I can do the Korban. 12 over 1. 12 over 1. Yeah. I can do the Korban or... Not you could, you should. That's been our mind. Wait, wait, wait. Zman shchidato min ha-Torah, meshitchilat ha-chama lintot la-ma'arav. When the sun starts, you can see the sun going to the west. Maybe it's not going to be 12 or 1, because you will notice it, but it's for sure 12.30, which is when we can dab in Mincha. We can dab in Mincha at 12.30. Yeah? Like we explained in the beginning of the Masechet. Hainu. בשש שעות ומחצה של היום, which means six and a half, one half hour after midday. מחצית השעה אחר חצות היום. ולא היה קרב כל קורבן אחרי התמיד של בין הארבעים, and you are not allowed to bring any sacrifice after the תמיד of בין הארבעים. כמו שנבאר הטעם במשנה, אנחנו going to explain the reason in the משנה. Except there was one exception. Which was the exception? Pesach sacrifice. The Pesach sacrifice, we're going to see why, was brought after. Korban ha-Pesach bilvad. Ke mevuar b'mishna gimel v'pirkenu. Like we're going to explain in Mishna gimel in our chapter. Mikan bal mishnatenu lelamed. From here the Mishna comes to teach. Shekol yemot ha-shana, that all the other days of the year, הואיל ותמיד של בין הארבעים היה האחרון לכל קבלת היום, because the תמיד of the בין הארבעים needs to be the last sacrifice of the day, היו מאחרים את שחיטתו שתי שעות אחר תחילת זמנו. Actually, you should do, mean, you, they should have done it when exactly at 12.30. Why? Why am I saying they should have done exactly at 12.30? 
There's a time to do it. You can do it from 12.30 until sunset. Wow. Why am I saying say 12.30? For well, the same yeah, reason yeah, you do shacharit when you, that's right. When do you do shacharit? At, at the first opportunity. You should do mincha also when? Right. At the first opportunity. So why don't they do it in the first opportunity? <coughs> why did they do it? And nobody can bring any sacrifice. Oh, because uh, people are bringing still sacrifices. Yeah. At 12 o'clock in the morning, you say, that's it. No more sacrifices. You, you have to give them a chance. There's some people who wake up late, you know? Also for those latecomers, yeah. you need to give them a chance to bring sacrifices. Hi, no. So they use the So let's see in a regular day. In a regular day, they will do two hours after the beginning of its time. So if it was, let's say, six to six, that's the day, six in the morning, six in the evening, 12 is zero, uh, 12.30, you can start bringing the mincha sacrifices. So they will do it 2.30. They will do it 2.30. They would slaughter it eight, into eight and a half hours. They would slaughter it two and a half hours after midday. But in Erev Pesach, what did they used to do? They would do it much earlier. Why? They would do it much earlier. Why? Because everybody is still bringing the Pesach sacrifices. And you remember, Pesach sacrifice is different. You can do it after the Tamid. We already established that the hours that we're talking about depends on the time of the year. Sometimes the hours are longer, sometimes the hours are shorter. It depends on how many daylights you're going to have. An hour is one twelfth of the day, of daylight. Okay, so let's start. Tamid, Korban Olata Tamid Shel Ben Arbaim, the sacrifice of Tamid that's in afternoon, Nishchat Bechol Yom, we slaughter it every day, Beshmonau Machatza, eight and a half hours to the day. Shaot Shel Yom, this is hours of the day. כלומר, which means שמאחרים שחיתתו שתי שעות אחר תחילת זמנו that we go late two hours after the beginning כמו שבאמנו בהקדמה, like we explained in the beginning והטעם, and the reason כדי שיהיו בני אדם מקריבים באותם שתי שעות את נדריהם ונדבותיהם because people used to come to the temple they had vows, they had thank you they had sacrifices to bring says, what are you going to tell them? it's half day, uh, walk over here, finish, go home, no? so it says because of that, it, they actually you should have brought it exactly that time, but to give people a chance to bring the sacrifices. Because all other sacrifices are not allowed to be brought after the, after the Tamid. It says, how do we know you're not allowed to bring other sacrifices after the Tamid? Because there's a verse in Vayikra, and it says, Vektir aleha chalvei hashlamim. And he would bring on top of it the fat of the shlamim sacrifices. Vedarshu aleha, and it says, what does it mean aleha on it? On the morning sacrifice. You should have to bring on the morning sacrifices all the other sacrifices. Not on which sacrifices? Not on top of the afternoon sacrifices. You're only allowed to bring on top of the morning sacrifice, not in the afternoon. Aleha alolata boker. From here we learn on it, on the sacrifice of the morning. Hashlem kol akorbanot kulam. On that one, on the morning, you have to finish all the sacrifices. Mikan. From here we learn shelo yehed davar meuchar letamit sheben arbaim. That there's nothing allowed else allowed to go after the mincha sacrifice. The mincha sacrifice has to be the last one. Vekarev. So it says, when do we slaughter it? We slaughter it, we know when, eight and a half. But when do you need to finish the work of it? Because it, it can take a long time. So it says, Vekarev betesha umachatza. But you finish the work of the, of the mincha sacrifices only well, at no. nine and a half. Nine and a half hours, an hour later. וגומרים לעשותו ולהקריבו על המזבח, so you only slaughtered it on the eight and a half, but until you finished all the job that you have to do with it, and you sacrificed on the מזבח, בתשעה שעות מחצה, in nine and a half hours. 
ששעה אחת היו עוסקים בעשייתו. It used to take one hour... What? Yeah. Yeah. Take the skin off. Take the blood. We're going to see. There's going to be a lot of things to do. We discuss. ונשארו להם עוד שתי שעות ומחצה. עד סוף היום לקצת דברים. And they still live for them nine and a half hours until twelve. They have still two and a half hours to do other stuff that they need to be done in the temple. Not sacrifices, but other stuff that needs to be done. שהיו עושים אחריו, that they used to do afterward. כגון, קטורת. They used to be, to be a קטורת. ומנחת התמיד, וחביתי כהן גדול. All kinds of bread sacrifices for the high priest, and so on and so on. בנסחים. והדלקת נרות, and also the lighting of the candles, שהייתה העבודה האחרונה של המקדש. That was the last thing in the מקדש. Yeah, obviously, it's everything. Cleaning is not work. No. No. It's a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleaning is not work. It's what you have, it's a side issue. Okay. Now, so this is, we know, that's used to happen on a regular day. Nothing to do with Pesach so far. It just explained a regular day. Now he comes and he tells you, you should know what's going, used to happen in Erev Pesach. On the 14th of Nisan, this whole system went awry. Didn't work the same way. What happened? Be'arvei Pesachim, on the Yudalet Nisan, ho'il ve'kurban ha'pesach karev la'achar ha'tamid shel ben ha'arbaim, since the Pesach sacrifice used to be brought after the Pesach sacrifice, after the Mincha sacrifice, we still have, don't know why. It looks like it shouldn't be allowed to be after Mincha sacrifice, right? According to what we learn, it's a, everything has to bow on the morning. But we're going to learn that on chapter Gimel, so don't worry about it right now. Kemevu'ar lehalan Mishnah Gimel, that we're going to explain later on on Mishnah Gimel. Nishchat korban atamid. So on Pesach, you don't slaughter the tamid at eight and a half to the day. You slaughter it besheva umechetza. Not six and a half when it can be slaughtered. But an hour later, at seven and a half, in between. In between when it can and in between when it usually does. You, it can be done in six and a half. Usually it's done at eight and a half. Erev Pesach, it's done at seven and a half. So they'll finish at two and a half. They need one hour to do it. Seven and a half? It will be finished at two thirty. Yeah. Or is it, well, if it is two thirty. Eight and a half into the day, whatever it is, yeah. Beshev machatza. שעות של היום, שעה וחצי אחר חצות היום, which means an hour and a half after midday. וקרב בשמונה ומחצה, and you would bring it at eight and a half, the usual time that you would sacrifice, that you would slaughter it. Until that time, you'll have time to prepare it and do all the work with it. והקרבתו נגמרת בשמונה ומחצה שעות, and you'll finish his, everything, all his work, the blood, the sprinkling, whatever, the fats. Whatever you need to be done, at eight and a half. Hainu, sheikdimu be'arvei p'sachim et ha'kravad ha'tamid b'sha'a achat. Erev Pesach, they brought the Pesach, the tamid sacrifices an hour and a half early. K'day she'e she'uit yoter l'asiyat ha'psachim, so the people have more time to bring the Pesach sacrifice, because it was done after. And that's going to be ben b'chol ben b'shabbat. This happened whether it was a weekday, whether Erev Pesach was on Shabbat itself, where it was Shabbat. Ben Shechal Erev Pesach liyot biyom chol, Ben Shechal liyot b'Shabbat, whether it happened in regular day, whether it happened on Shabbos day. Bagmara mevoar, in the Gemara it explains, Sheaf bechol ha-shana lo hivdilu ba-akravat ha-tamid ben Shabbat lechol. It says, Always, it doesn't matter if it is Shabbat or a weekday, they brought the Tamid eight and a half hours. Always. The Sheikh did it eight and a half hours. It says, that doesn't make sense. And I'll tell you why it doesn't make sense on Shabbat to do it eight and a half hours. The reason why on a Monday you would do it eight and a half hours is why? No, midday is six and, midday is six and a half. Twelve, midday. So why did you wait, why did you wait until or in a regular day you would do it in oh, eight and a half hours? Oh, very good. On a regular day, everybody brings sacrifices. You need to make it later. On Shabbat, you don't need to make it later. But it says it doesn't matter. They still did it in the same time. They had Musaf too on Shabbat. Yeah, we will we will talk about. It, but there's no it's not necessary to push it off. But it says I, we know it's not necessary. But we're still going to keep it 
two and a half hours later, even though nobody's being sacrificed today. Okay. בגמרא מבואר שאף עד בכל השנה לא הבדילו בהקרבת תמיד בין שבת לחול. The Gemara explains that the entire year they didn't make a distinction between bringing the Spencer sacrifices between Shabbat and a weekday. ואף על פי שאין נדרים ונדבות בשבת, says nobody else bring sacrifices on Shabbat. מכל מקום מאחרים אותו שתי שעות משום נדרים ונדבות של חול. The one that says let's do it a set time, the same time as every, every other day. נמצא, so we find, שאין הבדל בזמן שחיטת התמיד והקרבתו בין חול לשבת. So there's no difference on when you bring the, the tamid sacrifice, the mincha sacrifices, on a weekday or not on a weekday or on a holiday, all the time the same time. לא בכל השנה ולא בפסחים, so it will always be in the same time. שבכל השנה נשחט כל יום בשמונה ומחצה, ובערבי פסחים נשחט בשבע ומחצה. In ערב פסח it's only time that you will move it to seven and a half. So the only time you would ever put the Tamid in a different time is going to be Erev Pesach, Yudalit Nisan. That's the only time in the year where you would move the Mincha sacrifice. One hour. One hour. Earlier. But here is going to come, we're going to have another case. That it can even move again. So the Tamid... Let's see. חל ערב פסח להיות בערב שבת. If ערב פסח happened on Friday, says why would you need to move it more than the, that time? הואיל וצריכים לצלות את הפסחים קודם כניסת השבת, it says since the people need to take the פסח sacrifice, and the people, they can bring the פסח sacrifice, but they didn't need to cook it, they need to, not cook it, not to cook it, they need to roast it for the ליל הסדר, and that takes time, and roasting it into Shabbat, they're not allowed to, even though they will be allowed to bring the sacrifice on Shabbat, that they will be allowed to. And roast it on Shabbat. No, they're allowed to bring the Pesach sacrifices, roast it afterwards. They will be allowed to, on, if it's on Shabbat. Yeah. But Erev Pesach, because it, it, it's a sacrifice, a sacrifice you're allowed to bring on, on, on Shabbat. It's Korban Tzibur also over here. Yeah, I prepare it afterward. Also, they can cut it, shecht it. But not roast it on Shabbat. So they will have to wait for Motzei Shabbos, and then they roast it, and then they cook it. But over here, it's Friday night. It's, it's Friday. They have, to, they have to enough time, they have to have enough time to roast it before Shabbos comes in. What do you mean they didn't eat Korban Atamid? Who didn't eat? Who? Nice Nobody ate Korban Atami, it's the Kornim. Only the Kornim eat Korban Atami. They did eat Korban Pesach. They did eat Korban Pesach. If Pesach would be fall on Shabbos, Excellent. they would not eat it? Of course they would, because it would, they, would, they would check it on Friday. If Pesach is on Shabbos, oh, when, when do you check it? On Friday. Oh. And you'll cook it on Friday. No, if Shabbos is you done it. If Shabbos is... So they will, oh, they will shecht it. Shabbos is out. Shabbos is out. Then they will cook it. Then, cook it. then roast they it. They will cook it in the holy day. That's right. Pesach. But that's right. Ho'il v'tzrichim litzot et ha'psachim kod in Ksad HaShabbat. But if Yud Daled is Erev Pesach on Friday, they need to cook, they need to roast it before Shabbos. She'en tzliyat ha'psach docha Shabbat. Because... The sacrifice doche Shabbat, but the cooking it doesn't, the roasting it doesn't. Lefichach makdemim et tamid b'sha'atayim. So when you daled happens, then you do the tamid the earliest possible. When's the earliest possible? Six and a half hours. V'areu nishchat b'sheshu mechetza. And then, if, fri- if, Pesach, if every Pesach falls on a Friday, it moves back two hours. The earliest. the earliest that it can be, that's right. One half hour after the midday. The earliest possible time that you can do according to the Torah. That's right. Okay. And you have one hour until you do all the work with him. והקרבתו נגמרת בשבע ומחצה שעות של היום, והפסח אחריו, and then the Pesach sacrifice you do after it. וקורבן הפסח נשחט מיד לאחר הקרבת התמיד. In the Pesach you can, sac- 
sacrifice immediately after the work with the tamid has been done.